Many people see a picture of the shuttle like this and argue that it could not possibly be fake. Look how real it is. It's not possible. Well, the image you are looking at now is in fact very fake. It is a miniature built by a company helping those fake the world for 40 plus years. They are called Wonderworks. The top of their site says, Gateway to the stars of stage, screen, NASA, and private aerospace for 40 plus years. It says, Wonderworks is a full service design and production company servicing the film, theme park, and museum industries, where the client list includes NASA, Lockheed Martin Skunk Works, SpaceX, Dragon, XPRIZE, Space Camp, Challenger Center, Spielberg, Lucas, Disney, Universal, GM, Ford, Chrysler, Rockwell, and the Smithsonian Museum. With a project list that spans the globe, Wonderworks provides clients with an extensive history of knowledge, creativity, cutting-edge technology, and a commitment to detail in all of our replicas and spacesuits. We are not a hobby store or a toy store. We do not sell Halloween costumes. There are many excellent sources for those products, but we specialize in realism. So, as we take a look at their webpage, you can see uh, many facets of their operation. You can also see many images that many people would put their reputation on. This is definitely a floating astronaut taking a picture of the Earth from space out a window, when in actuality, it's just a set. Just like this, another set of the ISS. So for those who think it's not possible that we could ever be tricked, they should realize that it's in fact very possible and at least deserves to be looked into. And when you realize that there is no proof of everything that NASA has been telling us for 60 years, then maybe we can as a human race end the deception. Let's continue on looking. We can see different uh, methods of portraying astronauts. Over here on the left side, we see an image that shows a interesting way of showing an astronaut in space with a black backdrop and the camera looking from above. You'll see here he's fixing a satellite with a camera on a track, and these are just some of the clues that tell us how easy it is to fake us. This astronaut here certainly looks to be uh, suspended in space, he's floating, but in actuality he's got some sort of harness, which can be easily edited out. So as we continue on, we'll take a look at a couple more of these images just to show you really how easy it is. Here we've got some people floating about. Um, again, does this mean that it's real? Of course not. This is all done by the magic of movies. So let's continue on with what else they've got. They've got some spacesuit rental, space shuttle rental. Let's look. Here's the interior of the space shuttle. You can see these are just replicas. We've got another interior shot here. Again, you show this to somebody, they're going to claim it's real. We've got a interesting image here of the control panel. Again, it's got lights. It must be real, right? Nope. I beg to differ. We've got the shuttle being built uh, inside the Cow Palace in San Francisco. It says it takes like 24 hours to build the entire replica shuttle. We've got these people who are obviously people that love to fake you. Hello, we'll fake you. Sure, hire us. And as I showed before, here's the image of the space shuttle that many people would uh, swear is real when actually it is just a miniaturized version uh, put together by one of their creative artists. And you'll see here, that there's another image um, down there. You can see it says that it's all faked. Mini image here. And how easy it would be for NASA to film these things, show it to you on a TV screen, and you would think it's real. If you remember the show Space Cadets, which was a UK show about faking people that they were in space, uh, that was also done by this same company. Of course, we've got more. We've got an astronaut floating in the cargo bay of the shuttle and lots of miniature versions. And here we've got a lunar module, a lunar lander. Here's the LEM. And you'll see many of these things have been used in many movies. Here we've got from Apollo 13, the splashdown scene filmed by them with a backdrop and a green screen and, of course, faked. Here we've got a shuttle in the desert. Here we've got another miniature version of the shuttle at launch. Because um, those really need to be built, except for when you're faking people out. Here's some more pictures from the actual show Space Cadets. Again, they faked some teens or mid-teens, whatever they are, that they were going to space. 
Here we've got more pictures which clearly show the curvature of the Earth. Uh, morons. We've known that for thousands of years. It curves because everything we've ever been shown curves, so therefore it must be curved because you can't fake me out. Uh, even though I can't go to space, can't ever fool me. Down there you'll see the solid rocket boosters in miniature form because, of course, they're faked. Here we've got some space suit construction, some... Here we've got Spaceship One, uh, replicas for the X Prize, so it says. So they've got these miniature versions of Spaceship One. We've got education, of course, because uh, what's better than to teach children lies about where they live and teach them all about an industry that has stolen about five trillion dollars while providing absolutely nothing to humanity. Lower left, hey, they even got planet rental. In case you were looking to rent any planets, uh, Pluto is currently being rented by NASA, so you won't be able to use that one. Um, I think that they've turned in Saturn because the Cassini mission's over now. I think they've turned that back in, so you can give them a call if you want to rent Saturn. It is available for filming and then passing off to the American public and the world public, um, telling them that it's real, that we have crafts that are going around Saturn uh, some 800 million miles away or whatever they want to claim. It's all a bunch of nonsense. Here you can see a ton of miniatures that have been used in various videos or movies. I even saw the Trade Centers up there. I see the Colosseum in the middle here. A myriad of ways to fool people and yet still people want to believe that they can't be fooled. They're just too smart to be fooled. How could you ever fool them on a place they've never been? Here's all the movies. You can see Gravity, Interstellar, Apollo 18. So thank you Wonderworks for fooling the world. We're very proud of you and your addition to humanity. You want to believe you live on a ball spinning and flying through space? You're free to do so. If you want to believe in a place that you have never been and a spot you'll never go to, well, that's on you, not me. I'll keep asking questions and pointing out the obvious fraud of not just NASA, but each and every space agency and private space company. So be kind, don't lie, and open your mind and find your own truth. Till next time, this has been Jaronism. Yeah.